Hi guys, Spotfire and Tableau are both leading business intelligence and data analytics tools. But which one should you be using? To help you make an informed decision, I'll explain the main differences between Tableau and Spotfire, and we'll consider five criteria to see how these two tools stack up. And thank you for using the links in the description. So let's find out which is better for you. For the feature, Spotfire is a mature product offering strong analytics, dashboard, visualization, data preparation, and workflow capabilities. It allows users to harness data science techniques, geo-analytics, and real-time streaming analysis in easily consumable forms and can automatically suggest visualizations. Tableau is very much focused on delivering analytics with AI, data management, and collaboration. At the heart of Tableau is a proprietary technology called VizQL that makes interactive data visualization an integral part of understanding data. It differs sharply from traditional tools that require the user to analyze data in rows and columns, choose a subset of the data to present, organize that data into a table, and then create a chart from that table. VizQL skips those steps and creates a visual representative right away, providing visual feedback as you analyze. Tableau has been adding features like Ask Data in Slack, Einstein Discovery in Slack, and Model Builder. The latest updates for Spotfire include a better interface for administrators, data source name availability from server diagnostics, connection to Tibco cloud data streams from Spotfire, on-premises installations, new connectors, single sign-on to data sources, and more security features. Both Spotfire and Tableau offer comprehensive features, so the winner here comes down to which product offers the functionality the user specifically desires. And for the, vis the data visualization, with Tableau, a user can import and visualize large data sets. A user can also customize these data sets as various customization options are available, which help the users to get into the insights. A user can navigate from one tab to another, which will allow him to explore the data easily. In the case of Spotfire, it possesses the same capabilities as Tableau does, but lacks the customization options available. Other than this, a user can create reports and explore data that can be done in Tableau as well. And for the CRM comparison, CRM and BI often go together. With Tableau now being owned by Salesforce, it offers excellent marketing and enterprise product capabilities. It is in the process of being integrated with Salesforce Einstein Analytics. An Einstein Discovery Dashboard extension, for example, brings predictive modeling capabilities from Einstein to Tableau. Spotfire offers sales and marketing teams plenty of great visualizations and dashboards, but it stops short of CRM. But it is set up to integrate well with third-party CRM systems, whether you use Salesforce, Microsoft Dynamics CRM, or another CRM system, Spotfire can integrate it. Overall in this category, Tableau wins as it can provide CRM in one package, but for those not part of the Salesforce universe, Spotfire offers a good alternative. And for the analytics? Tableau tries to differentiate itself with what it describes as an intuitive analytics experience with richer capabilities based on its patented VizQL engine. It can connect to data live or in memory this allows its users to control performance, cost, and data freshness. Tableau also scores very well on live query capabilities and extracts, helping analysts to query faster. Its use of the R language makes it the winner on statistical capabilities. Spotfire has excellent analytics qualities too. It harnesses machine learning to transform data and provide insights. It also offers top-notch visualization dashboard, and customization features. Indeed, there is little to differentiate between Spotfire and Tableau on analytics. Perhaps the deciding factor is handling mass amounts of data. Some users say Spotfire has big data limitations, but the reports are mixed. Tableau doesn't suffer from that. So, for smaller data sets, Spotfire might come out ahead, whereas for very large ones, 
tableau leads. And for the pricing? Price is definitely the factor that any organisation will be keen on looking at. Tableau's subscription strategy focuses on individual users and their data needs. Each subscription includes maintenance, product upgrades and support in one cost. Tableau charges vary amounts for very different users, creators, explorers and viewers. The price per user ranges from around $15 to $70. Note that the pricing is based on annual billing. Companies can also purchase add-on features such as Tableau Data Management and Einstein Discovery. Spotfire doesn't publish prices online, but it looks like there are different prices for analysts, business authors and consumers of analytics data. These range from $250 a year to $1,250 per year. In this category, users should check pricing as it applies to their specific environments. In some cases, Tableau will win, in others, Spotfire will be cheaper. Overall, licensing on Spotfire looks more complex. The company also charges for integration with other platforms. Tableau offers a free trial period of 14 days to use it. Then it requires a trial extension key to continue, or you can buy a product key. Spotfire also gives a free trial of 30 days to use the software. So choosing between Tableau and Software Fire depends on your business and your needs. Both Spotfire and Tableau deliver robust visualizations through dashboards and other tools. Both tools come with advantages and disadvantages, so there's no best solution. It'll depend on your current needs. Other than that, it's up to you. So yeah, that's it for this video. You can check the links in the description and that helps a lot. Thank you. And hopefully this video will help you out. If it did, leave a comment and click the like button. That helps too. And goodbye for now.